What up, you guys? I am going to drop two videos today. I'm going to drop this video, and then I'm going to drop a Brittany Murphy video. So hopefully you guys are here for both of them. This particular video, I want to do a channel check-in. want to check in with you guys, check in with the videos, check in with what we're doing, see what's going on, talk to you guys about some theories, talk to you guys about the cosmetics, the prosthetics, the celebrity masks. I want to talk to you about pretty much everything we've gone over and kind of make sure everybody's on the same page. So Make sure you guys hit the like button so we can get this content promoted. Um, blackballed, I'm shadow listed, and they don't really want my content getting out there. So the best way you guys can challenge that is just hitting the like button, sharing the video, um, dropping comments, stuff like that, man. I don't get a whole lot of love doing these videos. And um, for the people that do support me, I really appreciate it. And there's a whole lot of people out there that just they'll watch the videos. They don't really care. You know what I mean? They're just interested. Like, it's entertainment for them. But this isn't really entertainment for me. It's real life. But anyways, to each its own, man. Uh, so I guess we'll start there. Um, I get comments, you know, kind of every now and then about how I'm crazy and how I need to be. I, I belong in a mental institution and all these things. Um, I say it confidently out loud to you guys because I know that someone's opinion of me has nothing to do about me. So it doesn't matter. I just take it with a grain of salt. But. I actually kind of relate because when I first started doing these things, I think certain theories are crazy and bananas and bonkers. And I do think certain people carry out these theories. And I think that itself is kind of insane. So, I mean, as a truth teller, I don't really see them in the wrong. I can see how I look crazy, how, how saying two people are the same people, but they're clearly playing different roles but they're the same people and and believing that I, I can understand how for people on the outside new people um how that's completely foreign and it's new and weird and and all those negative connotations however i thought that was a perfect segue because it's neither here nor there uh your emotions and how you feel about something is your personal experience on your personal journey so um if if things are that crazy, it's probably because you're trapped into the matrix that much. And if things aren't that crazy and you look at my videos and you go, yeah, that's probably right. Or I can see where he's coming from and you get it. You know, you're already one step ahead of the curve of the masses, you know, um, the sleeping sheep. So the cattle, however you want to put it. So um, with that being said, I totally understand where people are coming from, new people wise. Um, but it's your responsibility. I would say it's your duty to overcome your own obstacles. And I'll leave it at that. Um, I want to talk to you guys about a lot of stuff in this video. So like the celebratorial, the celebrity masks thing. Um, I've made about like over 200 videos, well over 200 videos. I've probably broken down like 600, 800 characters different celebrities and some people are four people some are three some are two right that they, they play these characters and there's a reality to all of this and i just want to touch base on with that on with everybody i think a lot of the stuff that i go over is kind of crazy i do i um besides like certain ones that are obvious like tupac and i kill the mc like that's really obvious and i don't think there should be anybody really arguing too much about that but like i said to each its own but there's certain theories that they're very weird. And even though I've made videos about it, I still doubt those videos. Um, let me give you a couple examples in particular. I made a video about Topher Grace being ninja. That bugs me still to this day because I, I go over as much detail as possible in my videos and try to be as convincing as possible, not only for you guys, but for me, because I believe in this stuff. But I've done so many of these videos now and I can look like do a in you know, reminisce and retrospect and I can go, okay, from experience, from actually doing these videos now, what have I like ran into a lot? And what I've ran into a lot is people that look a lot alike and they're not the same people and I've proven that they're not the same people. It's so creepy because whether the celebrity person is the exact same person that anybody in the truth community is breaking down is accurate or not, that's irrelevant. I feel what's more important now is the fact that these people are all in the same ancestral bloodline. 
and whether they're the same people or not isn't the point anymore. I think it's very clear that there's some really weirdness going on that lead us to theories that lead us to say this person is that person a b um cloning theory um three c um they're playing roles but they're not that person the other people play that one role like snoop dog maybe four or five people play the role of snoop dog but there's no such thing as a snoop dog character i've heard all the theories not all of them but i've heard a lot of them Again, I'm a truth teller. I don't have any business going out here out of my way to make a video about two people that are the same or aren't the same. If there's a reality to it, a deeper reality, then let's tackle that. Let's address that. And maybe there's a lot of room for growth on these channels because it doesn't need to just be this person is this person. That's boring for me now. It's getting old. I haven't even done a video in about a week just because I'm not interested. I've been gaming, doing other things. It's just really creepy to me because I'm about to do a video on Brittany Murphy and the character that I'm going to break down on her is her name is Lily Reinhardt. Okay. Reinhardt, Lily, Lilith. Okay. The, the witch, the God that these people praise rain, rain, God. We never really talked about that much. I make it rain. I make it rain. I make it rain on these hoes. I make it rain. I make it rain. I make it rain on these hoes. Talking about the rain God, not strippers and money. The duality in the music business, I need to start tackling these issues. I have so many big videos I need to make. And um, someone suggested that I do make different type of content. He was totally all for it. So maybe that's a good uh, opening for me. So Lily Reinhardt, Hart, Kevin Hart, okay? Hart, Art, R, okay? The anagram in the word, R, A-R, Raw. Like R-A, the rugged man, the rapper. They're very confusing on how they do their names. But it's not when you really understand the truth and the full scope of things. So rain heart, heart. So they used R, they put raw, I have raw in R, because R is AR, not assault rifle. Fucking raw, the light of, I have raw, I have Horus, the light of raw, okay? Um, so I'm about to do a video on her, okay? But she's 25 years old. Brittany Murphy died at 32 years old. Three and two is six. So she died at at six at um 32 years old like 12 years ago fuck the ages don't make sense so i have to look into it but i've already done some searching on it and researching and i'm gonna make the video i know what's going on i think i know what's going on i should say but um anyways so i'm about to do this video and the reason i brought that up right now is because the age right i just went over on in facts why get in conspiracy theories keep it real keep it simple guys there's no truth teller like this, and I love that. And I love that I can pride myself on that. We're all special. We're all in individually special and unique. And the fact that I'm proud of my uniqueness is okay. I think you guys should be proud of your uniqueness too. But I am the only truth teller that, that talks like this, that delivers a message like this with no fear, no panic. And I don't leave you guys with, with weird thoughts in your head like, negativity wise, like I leave you with some beautiful thoughts to make you think, make you think on your own, right? I, I plant the seed and then this revolution starts in your own brain. But I don't fear monger. I don't panic strike. I don't do that stuff. I don't think that's fun. I, I hate when I go to other channels and I just want someone to keep it real with us, not all this weird Hollywood stuff or YouTube or whatever, right? So I'm like the only truth teller that tells this shit how it is. So that's another thing I wanted to talk about. So I got an email from somebody and they were just, you know, commenting and I get a bunch of them from people that that bring up other people and they're just being nice or being real. They were a community. They're just saying, hey, check out this person. He's doing what you're doing. Maybe you'll like him or her. That's all they're doing. But what people don't get is all the people that you guys are showing me are frauds, disinfo agents, confused individuals. It's really, 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 really rare to find people that really know what's going on and still got a good head on their shoulders. 
there's some crazy people that know what the fuck's going on, but they don't know how to deliver their message, and they're crazy. They're legitimately the word crazy, and they would say that. They're fucking out, they're out of this world. They're nutty. They're nuts, okay? They're not normal people anymore, <laughs> but they have, they have a, so much knowledge. They really know what's going on. Like, crazy people on the streets, there's so much shit I could tell you, so much truth in the world that people know, okay? They've lived through or seen, okay? But they're crazy now. I have all this knowledge, and I still got a head on my shoulders, so I'm straight. You feel me? There's a lot of people telling me about other channels. And we're not talking about the YouTube channels because I don't trust any of those. And you guys know that. But it's my job to teach you, or not to teach you, but to guide you. And take that with a grain of salt because I know there's people out there that their knee jerk reaction is when someone tells them not to do something, they do it. I get it. I get the psychology in it all. But if you need to go down those rabbit holes yourself to see what I'm talking about fine may God guide you through it but I'm trying to help you guys and I'm trying to tell you that these other truth teller to truth telling channels are not truth telling and if they think they're truth telling they're confused because maybe in their heart they are telling their truth but their truth isn't real truth people need to remember that we lump people in categories and sometimes it's not about lumping in them a category there's a lot of shades of gray to us, but a lot of these truth tellers genuinely, genuinely, I'm not saying they're bad. They're not genuinely. These truth tellers are good people. They're like, bro, there's a lot going on in the world. I'm going to do my best to help people. But the problem with it is they don't really know what's going on. They have all these theories and thoughts, and then they do some studying and research and anything that connects dots, they go with it. I've been there. I've done that. It takes maturity. It takes guidance. I have, I, have, I, have, I have mentors in my life. I have sifus. I have masters. I have gurus in my life that help me get to where I'm at and still help me. So I'm able to use that to exponentially grow. But if you don't have that, I, it's really rare for people to be so in tune with God and be guided so much without real entities around you helping you. But it's possible. I don't want people to think it, you need that. You don't. There's people out there that don't need anybody, and they're just in tune, and they got it, and they're straight. It's an arrow, bro. They get this shit. That's dope, but that's rare. That's like 0 0.000, and that's not me either. I need people. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to help people. So I've heard about all these channels, you guys, and you guys can keep going down the rabbit holes with them, but you're confusing yourself, and once you can simplify things, then you are going to live a healthier life. And what I mean specifically is people confuse these things. If I made a video and I said Jay-Z, oh, if I made a video and I said Tupac is a kill the MC, and then another person that you respect and watch what makes a video and says Tupac is three other people, and then another truth teller that you like says Tupac is this person, not a kill or the other people that the other dude made, now Tupac is like five different people. And now you have three truth-telling channels that are telling the truth. You see how this works? The reason that there's so many channels doing this stuff and they actually get traction, and mine's the only channel that doesn't, should tell you something. Like I'm trying to help you guys the best I can. You guys wanted me to debunk theories and I debunk them. I'm going to debunk flat earth theory. I'll debunk the flat earth theory. You want me to debunk cloning? I'll debunk cloning. You want me to debunk who these people really are? I can do that. You want me to go through certain YouTubers channels and tell you which videos are accurate and which ones are absolute bullshit? I can do that. But when you're getting into those rabbit holes, it starts to get unhealthy because you don't have a process of thinking that's normal anymore. And you're constantly doubting everything. And if you're doubting me, you're doubting the next truth teller. You're doubting the other truth teller. You're, you're, you're not healthy. And I'm trying to help you, but I think a lot of you people are going to realize the hard way in a couple of years. If you're still on this bandwagon, you're going to realize, God damn, he was right. They make dumb content. They make videos trying to get viral. They'll contradict themselves. They, they make no sense. They have no proof. They use face analysis. Face analysis, okay? I've already told you I could find 100 people that look like 100 other people. So what is face analysis really doing? 
use programs, get into things, get into numbers, start talking about real things, start talking about timelines, dates, heights, sizes, um, anatomy, start talking about eyes, the soul, start talking about things that really do um, that matter in the process of uncovering the truth and discovering things. But these people don't do that. And you guys are going to realize that the hard way if you continue to think that you can continue to just watch everyone. You guys can continue watching everybody. You guys can continue to make the excuses of why you watch everybody, including me, which I'm grateful for. But you guys need to get to a point where you're you're starting to live a healthy life. And that's starting and that's gonna be okay. This is this is toxic. I don't feel good when I'm here. I'm not gonna I'm gonna turn that off. This is this is really this is good info, but I don't like the way he delivers that. I'm gonna turn that off. This is really good. I feel good watching it. I like this. I'm gonna watch this. Use your heart, use your emotions, use yourself, use your you. Everything is within you. I tell you guys that all the time. You don't need to listen to how I'm you don't need to listen to me. Listen to you. But I like helping people help themselves. I can't save you, but I can help you. Help yourself. That is my heaven. That is my knowing when I die, I'm out. I'm good. I don't need to worry. I'm going to keep traveling. I'm going to keep living. That's why I do it. I feel complete. The whole cycle, the infinite eight, the two circles stacked on each other that make an eight. That's the infinite symbol, like a racetrack. Okay, if you say race car backwards, it's race car. So it's infinite. Okay. I love you guys. I have nothing but love for every one of you guys, even the haters out there. Um, what you guys don't realize is Can we turn it down a little bit? Aiden, you too. What you guys don't realize is that I've already tackle, uh, tackled on the psychology of how you guys think. Genuinely speaking, I, I'm not mad at you guys for judging me. I'm not mad at you guys for thinking the worst of me. I'm not mad at you guys for thinking I'm an agent. I'm not mad at you guys for thinking I'm doing things to manipulate i don't i don't i don't blame anybody i don't i'm not mad i'm not sad i don't there's no emotion like i i've i'm coming full circle with myself i'm 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 really starting to mature and blossom into who i am i don't have problems with anybody there's no enemy within there's no enemy without No enemy within, there's no enemy outside. That's what I meant to say. We are our own worst enemy. So I really wanted to make this video um, 18 minutes. I didn't expect it to be this long, but I love talking. I love just getting in the groove and just keeping it real. And, and a subscriber of mine said he really likes my raw, uncut content because I don't stop it. So you get my full thought process. You see how I act. You see how my eyes go. You can see... <laughs> However you want to interpret me or judge me, I give you all of that. Why? Why do I give you all of that? Even though I know and you know I have a lot of haters. Why? Do you guys ever ask that? Because I love. I'm going to teach you guys something. People like me do get assassinated. Because we, people like me, really, truly get it. I don't get everything. I'm not saying that. Not even close. But, but we aren't here to get everything. We're here to just get it. And when you get it, it's really simple. Treat people how you want to be treated. Love, respect. It's, I mean, it's that simple. You get a life, enjoy your life, but respect every bit of it. If you see what I'm saying. Um, now I'm starting to get lost in just being 
preachy. So I'm just going to end the video. Um, let me tie everything up. So there's no judgment. I, I really don't care. Um, just remember this, okay? There's a lesson in this. No matter how mad, how sad, how you feel about anything, remember you individually, you are the only person feeling that. So if you listen to a song and it makes you feel a certain way, getting mad at the person making this song is silly. What you're mad about is why you feel that way and you don't know it. And something made you feel that way. And the thing that made you feel that way is what you're attacking. So that's why I don't take things personal when people, oh, you belong in a mental institution. Usually it's the people saying that that honestly do belong in the mental institution. It's usually the people calling the other people, honestly, like typically, generally speaking. So I know the people that are like attacking me. I can tell the way they talk, the all caps, the laughing, the emotions, how immature they are, or where they are in their process of learning. And those people, if you hate, you lost. Those people, they don't hate me. There's nothing to hate, like nothing that, that's, that's their journey. It's them individually. So if I love, if I choose to love, There is a potential, there's a possibility. Maybe no, maybe it's not going to happen. That's not the point. There's a potential, there's a possibility that those people will turn around and become part of the community and love. That's it. See how easy this is? That what I've just given you, this, 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 this lesson, this teaching, this preaching, whatever this video is, this is what they don't want. They, they is in power. Don't complicate it. Who's the, you know who they is. You just want a name and you want to figure out how much money they have, what evilness they've done. No, shut up. That's your mind running. Ramp it. They, as in those who are in power. Okay. Don't want certain messages out there. They don't want you to live life like this. They don't want you to 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 know that Hollywood is here to make you scared, and they feed off your emotions. And six six six, the Baphomet horns, all these weird symbols are only here to get to to control you through fear and emotions. And just by mentioning Satan, who's non-existent, Lucifer is, but I've already done preachings on this. Just by them mentioning Satan, they trigger people through emotion. Therefore, they control massive amount of people. So by me disarming their tactics, they have no power over you anymore. You begin to break free. You begin to build upon a new foundation. Therefore, building a new reality and a new community and a truth community. People of like-minded uh, culture, a village. And if you do that, if you separate yourself from the reality in which we live in right now in 2021, they, who is in power, lose money. If they lose money and you don't buy into their bullshit anymore, you're free. We are all, f probably an inaccurate statement, but I'm just going to go with it. You guys know what I mean. We're all free. But we don't know that. And the power that the government has, and the government is not U.S. I'm talking about, let's just say, one world government. The governments, the government, the power that they have is the illusion. They keep us in this, in this, we are free. We are free. But we act like we are not free is the biggest strategic tactic that they use against us. 
people really want to know, that's it. That's it. And I'm going to end the video because I could do this forever. It's about 24 and a half minutes. So that's it. They literally live. They live in this, this, this place in their mind where they control everybody through these tactics. And when you break free from that slavery, you step outside of the box, you see what's really going on. And that the box wasn't the whole box. It was just a little universe or a little world within a universe. They have us, they as in people in power have us in a paradox. So sit on that. Think about that. Let it roast. Let it marinate. All right. I love you guys. Um, I like to do this. Okay. This is my prayer. I've always done this. I used to pass by cemeteries and do this too. It's just, this isn't 666 for me. And this is an okay symbol in sign language. But it's just something that I do. And I think, and I'm going to end this. We'll do another video on it. And I'll start it off. But I think there's a big truth in what these people praise and preach. I've already told you about the reptilians and stuff. So I think there's a bigger truth that's not so nefarious. I'm out. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Peace.